Hey friends, I have a great, great recipe for you today. I made this Boston cream pie, which is actually a cake, as part of my 50 popular state dessert series, and it turned out so, so incredibly good and delicious, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this. This is a great one, you'll wanna keep this recipe. I made the version that is considered the doctored up box mix cake recipe, and that's fine because it turned out so good and I'm glad I did it. You're gonna take one yellow cake mix, and then to this we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of flour, and then we're gonna stir these together until those dry ingredients are combined. And then we're gonna put our wet ingredients right in the same container. We're gonna use one cup of sour cream, a half a cup of canola oil or vegetable oil, a half a cup of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and three eggs. And then we're just going to combine this until it's fully combined using our electric mixer. Once it's combined, then we're going to put it on high and beat this for about two minutes. I always love to set a timer when I'm making a cake like this because it's hard to judge two minutes while you're doing this. So just make sure as you're beating this in the bowl that you scrape down the sides and then just keep continuing to beat it for two minutes. This gets to be such a nice and light and fluffy batter. I've been having so much fun at making these state desserts, but I'll tell you last week's was a little bit of a flop. So I was so happy that this one turned out so well and I would definitely make this recipe again. Now I sprayed my pans with some Pam nonstick cooking spray, but I also put a round of parchment paper in there. I just cut it with the scissors. I would definitely 100% recommend putting parchment paper in the bottom of your pans. It just makes the cake slide out so much easier when it's done. Now while those are cooking in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, we're gonna make the filling. That is one small box of vanilla instant jello pudding and two cups of heavy whipping cream. And you're gonna use your electric mixer and mix that together until it gets nice and thick. And that literally only took about one to two minutes and you can see how nice and thick this is. And I just put this in the fridge until I was ready to use it. Next, we're gonna take our cakes out of the pan so they can cool. They've been cooling on the counter for about five or 10 minutes and now we're gonna flip them upside down and take the pie tins off. Now you can see with that parchment paper, they slide off so easy. And then you just peel that off and you have a nice, perfectly flat cake. I love using these and I would recommend it, like I said, next time you make a cake. These need to cool completely on your counter. The last thing we need to do is make the ganache for the top. And that is three quarters cup heavy cream and one cup of some kind of dark chocolate chip. I use these Ghirardelli melting chocolates. Put it in the microwave for about 30 or 40 seconds, give it a good stir, and then put it back in the microwave for about 10 to 30 second intervals until it is melted. This took two intervals of about 30 to 40 seconds. Once that is fully combined and nice and rich and thin looking like that, you're gonna to wanna to put it in the refrigerator until it starts to chill. You do not wanna put that on too warm or it's gonna run all down the sides of your cake and I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second. Now, once everything is cool, we're gonna start building this cake. I started by putting one of the cakes down and then filling it with almost all of the filling. I saved back about two tablespoons. Even that out, put the top layer of cake on and then press down. And then I'm gonna take the little bit I saved back and just fill in any gaps that there may be around the cake because we want it to look nice on the sides. We're not frosting it, so the sides are going to show. Then we're gonna take our ganache and we're gonna just pour it over the top. And this is supposed to run down the sides. Now, mine was still a little bit, too, it wasn't warm, but it wasn't chilled quite enough. And you can see it really ran down the sides quite fast. So I put it back in the fridge and let it chill a little bit longer. And then you can see here, it's a lot thicker and I almost have to spread it on in order for it to come out. You want it somewhere in between these two stages, but guess what? It still looks really pretty and it turned out perfect. But if yours is too thin like mine, just remember you can put it back in the fridge to chill a little bit longer to thicken up. Now we cut ours right away 
and you can see inside it is so pretty the layers look so nice the this cake was not too sweet it had a great dark chocolate topping and the middle filling was sweet but not too sweet and so creamy the addition of the sour cream to that cake mix wow it made such a nice moist cake i could not believe it this is definitely one i would make again if you saw any of my other videos last week, I did make the Smith Island cake from Maryland and that was a little bit of a fail, but this one turned out great and I would definitely recommend this recipe, which is going to be in the description. We happened to have this on Mo Memorial Day, so I served up three pieces and just look at those layers. I cannot say enough good about this recipe. It was just so delicious. It was so moist. I hope you guys try this one. Now stay tuned for our reaction. You guys, it turned out so good. Look at that. <laughs> Very pretty. It turned out so good. Wow, I'm excited about this one. Hey, the here we go. The slices are pretty. Mm. That is so good. <laughs> Super moist. Like, not, not a dry piece to it. She wants to be in this video oh, so bad, you guys. Oh, Winnie wants to be in. <laughs> oh, Winnie too. <laughs> Every time we turn the camera on, they just meow, meow, meow. Here's little Vinny. Now find me out while I get picked up and pampered. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, yeah. everybody. Thanks. Have a great Make day. this one.